Come Holy Spirit, come fill my heart, refresh my soul. This is your season of grace come with your host, Spirit, Patrick Henry Eden. Get ready for Grace Revolution. You see, how you give us, we are a numerous people. Don't treat us like others because the Lord has blessed us abundantly. It takes a blessed person to, to say this. And when you say this to somebody, will that person be happy with you? Okay. The next verse. If you are so numerous, Joshua answered, and if the hill country of Ephraim is too small for you, go up into the forest and clear the land for yourself. <laughs> it takes a, a big hungry person to understand it. It takes somebody from the tribe of Joseph to understand this. It takes somebody who has been blessed with fruitfulness. It takes somebody who is abundant minded, abundant hearted, abundant body, abundant vision, abundant when somebody is abundant, he will understand this. He said the space of my brothers are not enough for me. The, it, I don't want to share. Give me something more. And Joshua said I give you permission. If you are so numerous, and Joshua said, don't come and trouble me. Don't let your blessing be a problem to me. Um, don't take your problem. Go look for where you can settle your problem. Can you see, even Joshua is not comfortable. Even Joshua is not comfortable with blessed people. If you are so numerous, Joshua answered, don't bring your problem to me. And if the hill country, if your portion is not enough for you, and it's too small for you, go up to the forest. So tell somebody, go up to the forest and clear the land do you know what it means to clear the land in the forest you don't see grass in the forest you see trees in the forest trees that have hundreds of years of lifespan trees that have had children trees that in here often give them their branches they look like demons trees that they grow up and they stop growing up they begin to grow <laughs> grow around you see this is, this is forest he said, go up into the forest and clear land for yourself there in the land of the parasites and the refates. The word refates is another way of saying to the, of the giant. The land of the giants. That means the forest is occupied by giants. <laughs> Witchcraft occupies the forest. The marine, they occupy the forest. But the forest actually belongs to somebody. For there to be expansion, the forest is to be cut down. But for the forest to be cut down, those who inhabit the forest, they are to be dislodged first. Tell somebody, take territory. Take territory is not for children. Take territory is not for small, comfortable people. Say, so go up into the forest. Who is willing to go to the forest? And clear land for yourself there. In the land of the parasites. It means go and deal with the parasites. Go and deal with the refuge, the giants. What's the next? The people of Joseph replied, the hill country is not enough for us. That's true. And all the Canaanites who live in the plain have iron chariots. You see, these guys are complaining. Where you have given us is not enough for us. But the problem is that where you are asking us to go, you say the people who live there, they have iron chariots. Both those in Bethshan and his settlements and those in the valley of Jezreel. But Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, you are numerous and very powerful. Tell somebody, you are numerous and very powerful. He said, you will not have only one allotment. Joshua said, I agree with you. Because you are numerous, you are powerful. You will not have only one portion. But it is only one portion that is available. The other one portion, you have to take it. Yes. One portion is available for everybody. So if you want to remain small, stay in one one portion. And if you say you are too blessed for one portion, don't bring your problem to me. Go.
go to the land of the Rephites. Go to the land of the Canaanites. Those who have chariots of iron. <laughs> Shay, you are looking for blessing. Shay, you say you are not comfortable with your position. You want to increase, advance. Extend your court to the left, to the right. You want to be mighty. I agree with you. Joshua said, I agree with you. But the point is this. is only one portion that is available in a normal situation. The additional portion is for whoever can take it. <laughs> Praise God. See, you will not only have one allotment. I agree with you. But the hill country as well. Clear it. And its farthest limits would be yours. Though the Canaanites have iron chariots. And though they are strong. You can drive them out. He said, you say you are limited. He said, you, you don't have space. Ah, there is a forest out there. Occupied by the marine. Occupied by secret court and occult. Occupied by people who don't know God. Yes, there is a land out there. Those who don't honor God, those who don't serve God. There is a forest. Go. I'm talking about mystery here. You say you are you are too numerous okay there are blessings taken over by witches and wizards of the ancestral line in the forest am i talking to somebody yeah. there there are treasures and wealth colonized by the marine and they say until you come and worship us there are ancestral issues occupying another area of the forest you say until you come and need to move he said, you are too numerous. Go and drive them out. And take over. This is what it means to take territory. Taking territory is not just a matter of wishful thinking. It is something that is based upon extraordinary hunger. I'm not going to die like this. I'm not going to remain like this. I was born to be more. I was made to be an eagle. And I'm not going to sit down and be eating with Tom Tom. You see, there's, there can be nothing more frustrating than you seeing. And then what you see doesn't look like what you see. And the fear is that it's not going to change. It is frustrating. It is dangerous to be blessed. It is a painful thing to be blessed. You see, small people are very comfortable people they cannot impact on anybody's life they say ingenience only no there are some people the fact that they cannot give somebody who needs something they cannot sleep in the night the pain they have is not that they don't have the pain they have is that they had opportunity to bless somebody and they didn't have to give that person that's a large person a small person is so comfortable. I mean, I don't have it. I don't worry if another person has it or not. After all, I don't have it. That's a small person. There's no problem. But when you are large, you see how life could be. But life is not like that. And you are not comfortable because there is a demand on your spirit that what you see in the spirit ought to be like that physically. And then when you are courageous enough to revolt, you say, no, I want to pursue what I see. But the forested hill country as well, clear it and its farthest limit will, will be yours. Though the Canaanites have iron chariots and though they are strong, you can drive them out. And the reason is because it started to say, God has blessed us abundantly. So if God has blessed you, go and test the blessing. Yeah, the scripture says if you faint on the day of adversity, your, your strength, don't blame adversity, it's because your strength is small. For everything in life, there is a price. If you say there is no promotion for me, but I ought to be, there are some people who are not promoted and they are comfortable. But there are some people who are in a place for some time. They say this is not how life is supposed to be. I am bigger than this. I am more blessed than this. And I demand more than this. 
Am I talking to somebody? And Joshua will say, this is the portion that is available in this place. So, so if you want to stay in this place, this is one portion like others. Everybody's like you, so don't make noise. If you want more than this, then go to the place, the forest. The unconquered territory. The feared territory. What others are running away from. Let me tell you, those who have made big money out of life, they make money from where others are running away from. Those who have prospered extraordinarily, they are just people who are not afraid of trouble. Risk takers, those who can profit from risks. There are people who prosper because things are bad. Until it comes a time you are no longer afraid of witches and wizards. Because the forest is occupied by witches and wizards. The finances that are yet to be released, they are occupied by occultic forces. They are occupied by witchcraft. There are those who say, until you join cult, you cannot belong. But until you bring down the power of cult and be relevant, relevant though you are not a cultist, you cannot make it. And Joshua told them, but you are powerful enough. You are, you are blessed of God. You are a child of God. You are born of God. Therefore, you can take it. I want to announce to you, poverty is a lie. I want to announce to you that failure is a lie. You fail because you choose. If you are blessed enough, if you are strong enough, you can hug death and death will die. You can hug sickness and sickness is dark. No, you can look for trouble and trouble is afraid of you. Joshua said, if you are blessed, then go and test your blessing. That means the religion that makes you afraid of witches and wizards is from hell. True gospel says, the family that is colonized by witches and wizards, it means, he said, nobody has ever prospered in my family. It means the first person who will prosper will take over what all other people could not take. What a mighty opportunity. Can you now see? Others are dying in that family. The kind of family that I come from. Nobody has ever prospered. Wow, what a mighty opportunity. You mean nobody has ever prospered? That means the prosperity of all the generations, they are there waiting for you. Tell somebody, are you serious? Now, can you see a different way of interpreting the same reality? Somebody says, what a useless family I come from. Nobody has ever prospered. I say, seriously? What a great opportunity and a great family to come from. Nobody has ever prospered. Which means you have an opportunity of a lifetime to prosper and take over the forest from the witches and wizards. To take over the gold, to take over the diamond. Tell somebody you can certainly take over. Can I tell you something? When next you see masquerades in the dream, no, you have something to take from them. So rather than look for a pastor you will complain to, dream again and go back. Am I talking to somebody? All the masquerades that keep your certificate, all the masquerades that keep your marital ring, all the masquerades that keep your blessing, your appointment, no, no, no. When you see them in the dream, instead of being afraid, rise and celebrate. That means you are close. Because when you are close to what you have been looking for, then you are close to look, getting what is it. And the only thing is that you have to get them out. Mika telibra la tundra. But Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, you are numerous. <laughs> Tell somebody I am numerous. How do I know? The scripture says, if God be for us, <laughs> who can be against us? Let me show you something. Second Kings chapter 6, verses 15 and 16 and 17. He said, don't be afraid. The prophet answered, those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Those who are with you are more than all the masquerades that terrify you. Those who are with you are more than all the witches and wizards together. Why Jesus is not bothered about witches and wizards? Because he knows you are too numerous. Tell somebody, I am too numerous. See, you've been blessed with the blessing of the Father. You've been blessed with the blessing of the Son. You've been blessed with the blessing of the Holy Spirit. 
Joseph was blessed with the blessings of the heavens and the blessings of the earth below. But you are blessed with the blessing of the Father. You are blessed with the blessing of the Son. And you are blessed with the blessing of the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost, you cry to God, Abba, Father. It means God is your Father. And Jesus is your Lord. And the Holy Ghost is your helper. Jesus Christ said, I will not leave you orphans. When I go, I will send the comforter. When he comes, he will help you. Tell somebody, I am not alone. I am no I am powerful. Say, so don't be afraid. The prophet answered, Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. The next verse, hey Libra, and Elisha prayed, Oh Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eye and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around there is power all around for your sake he has appointed salvation as your bulwark he has appointed angels to be in charge of you so that you will not tell somebody i am numerous go to joshua chapter 17 but Joshua said to the house of Joseph to Ephraim and I'm saying to you you have been fasting and praying you are too numerous you are numerous and very powerful has anybody ever told you you are powerful you go to the place of assignment you are told both for it your word you go to the place of prophecy you are told your father will kill you has anybody ever told you you are too powerful has anybody ever told you you are numerous has ever anybody ever told you those who are for you are greater than those who are against you has anybody ever told you that accident is not strong enough? That sickness is not strong enough? That demons are not strong enough? Witches and wizards are not strong enough? No, no, no. The counsel of Satan is not strong enough. Tell somebody, I'm too powerful. Say you are numerous and very powerful. Do not mind what you are going through right now. It's because you are blessed. You are too powerful. It's not about what you see, it's about who you are. It's not about what is against you, it's about what is for you. Verse 17. You are too powerful. You will have not only one allotment. You will not have only one allotment. You will not have one. Say, I will not have only one. That's it. You will not have one. Because you deserve more than one. Then you know, I say you deserve more than one. No, no, no. You will not have only one. Your father had one and died the way he died. Your mother had one, he died the way he died. Your brothers had one and they are the way they are. Say, I will not be like my father. I will not be like my mother. I will not be like my brother. I will not be like my friend. No, 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 no. I want to be like the one that has been blessed. Like the field that has been blessed. I want to be like Joseph that has been blessed. I want to be a child of God that has been blessed. The next verse says, but the forest so you have one plus the forest the forest hill country as well you will have the the hill country the forested hill country as well the country the hill country that is the forest that is occupied by witches and wizards that belongs to you whatever ancestral demons and familiar spirits are occupying they belong to you so you will not have only one one makes you a beggar one makes you a helpless, pitiable person. Say, God forbid. The scripture says, Welcome to Zion, the gathering of the gathering of the church where everyone is a firstborn. And the scripture says the firstborn has the right of double portion. Tell somebody I have double portion. The forested hill country as well. Clear it. Tell somebody, clear it what no one has ever possessed in the family you will clear it and have it yeah. say clear it and his father's limits will be yours it means father's limits more than a stadium size more than a village size more than a city size more than a state size more than a nation size more than a continent size more than a universal size This program is sponsored by the Covenant Friends and Partners of Grace Family Global Outreach. You can be part of this Grace Revolution by becoming
becoming a covenant partner today. Allow God to use you. Our account details are as follows. Bank, Zenith Bank. Account name, Grace Family Global Outreach. Account number, 101-42-978-63. For inquiries, please call 81 804 or 090-738-38742. To all our covenant partners and friends, we say thank you. Like the widow of Zarephath, your oil will never run dry. To order for the books, messages, and other resource materials, please call or send an SMS to 080 Six six zero four six three four six or zero eight one eight zero four three three two two five. Videos are also available on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash Grace Family Outreach. To stay connected, like us on Facebook at Grace Family Outreach or visit our website at www. Grace Commission.org